Hi, this is Zach here with Gingerbread Man Running on our first ever vodcast with uh, Caleb Bylers for the Your Running Journey. I don't know, it's a working title, so I'll eventually figure out what I really want to call it. Um, but thank you for being the first volunteer victim, uh, you know, especially with the weather today, who expected rain and snow in the middle of April. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on, um, but... Uh... That's Pennsylvania. You you get what you get. Exactly. You get that extra, uh, that second winter, that, <laughs> that false spring second winter. Um, so I have a few questions for you about your run today. Uh, outside of the weather, how was the run? Uh, it, it felt really good. Um, I'm, I'm deload down to marathon. Um, so it was just supposed to be an easy run, uh, a little bit quicker pace than I wanted. But it was it was nice and easy nonetheless. Yeah, uh, you look pretty smooth out there. And uh, the big thing that uh, we want to talk about here on this vodcast, uh, look into local runners and what what got you into running? Uh, well, it actually started uh, last March with, um, well, whenever my son was born, um, I wanted to just incorporate a way of doing cardio with him uh, as, as I, I lift uh, six days a week as well. Um, so I wanted to incorporate cardio with him. So I bought a jogging stroller, uh, last March, whenever we went into quarantine, uh, gym shut down. I thought what better way to do cardio than to start jogging with him. Um, started with trying to do a half marathon, um, three, four weeks into that, I was doing half marathons on a weekly basis. Um, and then it, it just developed on from there. Uh, I, I did my first marathon training, um, and, and, um, ho hoping to do my first full with, with him in September. Well, that'll be really fun. Um, I know that it's been hard to find marathons and races just over the past year. Uh, Luke, the other guy who does our shoe review videos, he's basically been training for the same marathon for two years. He said, uh, by with deferrals and everything going on. So he should be much prepared or over-prepared. Uh, we are a shoe store, so I'm going to ask you, what are you running in today? Um, so I actually got my marathon shoes on. Uh, they are the A6 Nova Blasts. Okay. Um, I found those about a month ago. Um, I bought actually bought a different pair. Um, and they have so much bounce to them in every step. Um, the the, the heel-to-toe roll is just, just phenomenal in them. And they're actually a lightweight shoe. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're... About nine point six ounces oh, that's um, pretty light from from shoe. what I saw on their Asics, and it's it doesn't look like it. it um, if if you know the Hoka's, mm -hmm. uh, they're built similar to the Hoka's, but they're not as heavy as them. All right. And uh, what has been your favorite thing so far with your? You've done a full year of running and run a few half marathons. What's been your biggest memory? <laughs> Uh, my biggest memory was last October running the first, uh, f first half, uh, marathon with my son. It was the first official one cause limited races. Um, so it was at North park right above Pittsburgh. Um, and I ran it with him in, in about an hour and 42 and it, it was just, it was, you know, the adrenaline from, from actual in-person races is, is none, none, none like anything else. Yeah. Did your son sleep the whole time? sleep uh snacked um <laughs> just just observed he's he he likes uh we run in, we run through the city um so he likes you know looking at the cars looking at the buildings um so he he's he likes sightseeing okay. what advice would you have for people who want to get into running um so before last march i always said i was a sprinter um never ran above six miles <laughs> um and uh, I, I, I would just say, throw that out the window. Um, you, you can, you can set anything. You, you, uh, you can do anything you set your mind to. Um, it's, it's, it's honestly just a mindset thing. Yeah, I, I, we have a lot of that when we have people coming in the store. A lot of people seem intimidated by the idea of running long distances, but it's just really, it's more of a mental thing, almost more than what your body can handle. Because if you can make your mind do it, you can, your body will follow. And I mean, I. I'm doing couch to five. I've, I'm a tennis player. I, I've run to the fridge for beer, <laughs> and I'm quite out of shape. Uh, anybody who comes in the store will tell it be like, Zach works in a running store because he does these things. He does like the podcasts and the <laughs> videos, and that's why they have him, but they don't. he's not a runner-runner. And, I, and 
and to a to a sense, I mean, like I understand running, and I, I did do some back in my youth. Um, but I'm doing couch to 5K with my friend Travis's wife, and her and I are super prepared because we're gonna put a GoPro on me with a microphone, and mm-hmm. I just have to bleep out like all the expletives because <laughs> we're like we want to show people how easy this is, and I'm just gonna be like we we can't because you and I <laughs> swear too much when we get together, <laughs> and we're really kind of we're scared because she's she used to be a D2 athlete. Oh wow! So she hasn't. But she hasn't run, run. Yeah, she gets shin splints just thinking about shin splints. Yeah, <laughs> that's I, I know shin splints are 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 definitely one hurdle to overcome. Um, but I know for me, biggest thing, um, especially me w- with having asthma, um, one thing I really had to focus on was getting my breathing right. Um, I, I focused on getting my breathing right. Um, once I got my breathing right, I focused on my form. Once I found my, I got my form right. Uh, I wasn't having the lower back pain that I was having. Um, strides were just coming easier. Um, it, it, you know, everything just fell in place. Um, but as you said, it's, it's a mental game. Um, it's, it's tough to even go out and run for a half hour straight. You know, that, that's even that takes mental capacity in itself. That that's where I want to be. I mean, like I, the, my, for the 5k we do at the end, I'm, I'm assuming if I'm lucky, I'll be around 30 minutes, but I mean like, you know, my my longest distance run is from one baseline to the other <laughs> in a tennis court or like whatever they made it. and they didn't make us run in gym because i was a varsity player yeah yep. so we didn't have to do anything so i never <laughs> did like the fitness test because i was a varsity player that i just got the check mark and moved along with my day so i like the last time i ran a mile was like eighth grade when i was in track and field when i was a thrower <laughs> and they were like go run a mile to warm up and then that was it <laughs> honestly it 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 just takes it just takes practice um much like anything else um when 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 you practice something you just get better at it and become and it becomes easier over time um you, you know just one one thing that 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 i've had to tell everyone else is you get you got to overcome those mental hurdles um that that just sit in the back of your head and tell you that i can't do this or you know, just, just other people with my, my, you know, my, my niece having leukemia, I run for her. Yeah. Um, because she's probably never going to be able to do something like this. So that's like one, another one of my, my drives is just being able to do something that other people can't. Yeah. And I think that's real important. It's not only you're doing it for your health and your benefit, but you're, you're showing people that this can be done. I mean, today, I think my car, which were recording this podcast in this like part of the video in um it looks like late november <laughs> and it's cold and i was like i was following you with the drone and i'm like man that's miserable and, and i don't know i'm just a sissy i guess because i'd be like oh tennis would have been can- i'm looking at the tennis courts from here <laughs> i'm like tennis would have been canceled today i'd have been home and like had a grilled cheese by now like if i was in school like when i was playing but like runners don't get off days no, no. Um, and it's, it's something like this with, with the weather. Um, it's uh, one of my buddies sent me, a, a, I think it was a podcast as well, from a famous runner, uh, David Grogan. Um, he was training somebody. He went to stay in their house. And this guy, they, they went up, they got up for a run really early in the morning. It was snowing, cold, just like it is this morning. And he didn't want anything else besides a shirt, pair of shorts, and just a pair of gloves. And the guy asked, you know, aren't you going to get cold? He's like, it's all in your head, you know. If I picture, if I tell myself that it's 75 degrees outside, regardless if it's 32 degrees, regardless if it's it's 25 or snowing, in my head it's 75 degrees, I'm just going to run with a smile. And that that's kind of the the how I've how how I've approached it. Yeah, I think. one of the things we've talked about, I, I think it's going to be like the title of this episode is mental fortitude, you know, a runner's journey, mental fortitude. You, you went from, you said lifting mm-hmm. primarily as your workout and being a sprinter to running half marathons. And how long did it take you to go from quarantine shutdown to running half marathon distances? How long did that take you? I mean, Ma- you were already in pretty good shape. So. Um, End of March, I, I think it was March 24th of last year was when I officially decided I was going to start running. Um, by mid-April, I was running half marathons on a on a every weekend basis. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's that's impressive because 
there are people who they want to see those results right away. And, and like you said, you get the benefit. <laughs> You're already in shape. And people want to see those results, but it, it is important to take those baby steps. Do a 5K, do a 10K, do a half, do mm-hmm. a full, do a... And then if you're really crazy, do those ultras. <laughs> Absolutely. I, we, ha- we have those guys come in, they're like, I need two pairs of shoes yeah. because I'm running a 200 miler and I'm going to blow one out. I need to change halfway through. And I look at them and I go, why? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a different kind of crazy in itself. <laughs> <laughs> and they say that. But I mean, it's what they enjoy, that being out there and having your pacers and... Absolutely. You know, yep. I, I enjoy food too much to be like, I'm going to run for 28 hours straight <laughs> and eat small banana slices and suck down a goo. And I'm like, mm, but pizza though. And in and, and, and my case, um, I have a bunch of food allergies. So oh, no. yeah, um, unfortunately, that's that's kind of made it easy on, on dieting as well. Yeah. Um, You're like, I can have these four things. <laughs> I, I, li- I literally eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every oh. day. That I mean, I have one food allergy, and it's <laughs> I get like an itch. But like, my sister in law also has food allergies. She, you know, certain kinds of like beef, beef she can't eat, like mm-hmm. red meat. Yep, plain out. Yep, she can eat like chicken, bread, yep. cheese. Yep, and that's about it. That's that's. Uh, I can't even eat bread, so that's thrown oh. out. Uh, mine's pretty much chicken, rice, peas, oh, uh, man. and potatoes. That's that's there, pretty much my dinners. The and, the the good news to that though is is those are all like healthy things Mm -hmm. yep like i'm allergic to a healthy thing i'm (laughs) allergic to mushrooms which are healthy oh yeah that's and and people really enjoy and they're like good for you but like looking at one makes my skin yeah yeah i'm like i can't do that my wife is allergic too she didn't believe me on our first date she was like let's get an appetizer like anything but mushrooms because i'm allergic or she said that and i was like well me too so that's easy and then she gave me i can still remember the look she gave me like Mm-mm. Oh, so it's kind of like a fear factor type thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you're, yeah. But <laughs> she's she's much more allergic than I am, which is kind of funny. But I, I, I do applaud that the, the will some people have, like yourself, to stay regimented, get fit, stay fit, and get into, you know, something that, this is something you can, I, we have people who come in and they're, 16 and running and we they're like they run up until their doctors like listen your hips can't do it anymore Mm -hmm. yep you're 75 yep that's i I know this year alone um with i started an 18 week training program for this marathon back in uh december 28th um every wednesday for the last five six weeks i've been doing a high school track workout Mm -hmm. uh with fleet feet out of pittsburgh okay um we go down to shenley park and and we actually do track workouts down there we do uh sprints we do hills um you know in and outs uh it's something at 32 years old that i haven't done for 16 17 years (laughs) and i'm just like why am i doing this now (laughs) no i i agree i mean why why but um (laughs) And that, that's always been my thing. I've always been like the every guy. People come in, they're like, Luke's a runner, Matt's a runner, Jen's a runner. Like everybody looks like <laughs> runners. And then they go to me and like, you like pizza and beer. Let's sit down because I just need comfortable <laughs> shoes. And I'm like, I got you. Come on over. But um, so we're actually about, I don't know, what did your watch say? You run, How long you run for on your watch? Uh, it was like almost 14 minutes. Yeah. So we're. I don't want to have the video roll over the are the audio roll under the video too much or over so um anything else you want to say to anybody any shout outs you want to give i know you said you have a youtube channel yourself so. um i do um it is uh uh um pittsburgh fitness dad um that's uh my my instagram is 412 fitness dad uh 412 fitness underscore dad um, I'm running a marathon on May 1st to try to qualify for the Boston Marathon, so sub three hour. Um, not sure if you if 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 you've ever tried a 6:52 pace for 26.2 miles, but it's uh, gonna be brutal. <laughs> um, so uh, just give me a shout out, follow along. Um, uh, uh, this is only the beginning for for my journey. So all right, well. Thank you so much for being the first volunteer today. I really enjoy it. Uh, check him out on all his social stuff. Uh, I'll put all the links down below the video. Uh, follow us as well. Uh, there will be plenty more of this kind of style video to come. Just something really awesome that I think needs to be out there for more people. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, 
next time you need shoes, give us a call. Uh, for doing this, I'm going to give you a little treat, a little 10% off. Just awesome. say you did the video. We'll give you 10% off your shoes. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's not... You took time out of your day to help me do my job better. Uh, so. and, and, and anytime I can try to help motivate others, uh, I'm, I'm always willing. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I guess that's a wrap. See, uh, take one. Thank you. <laughs>